first major international competition for you, 5-1 against a really tough Ivorian side. How do you take it? Yeah, it's a joy. You know, we have to, we have to enjoy and have fun today. But trust me, like I said earlier on, it wasn't an easy game. The Ivorians are a very good side. It comes up to uh, their technical team. They done a very good job. They made it very difficult for us. We are a ball playing team, but because of the way the Ivorians are playing, we find it difficult to to keep the ball. But hey, like I said earlier on, you know, we have a plan, but we, should, we shouldn't be prisoners to our plan. You know, we we, we, we approach the game differently. We try to close the spaces down uh, later part in the in, in in the first half, and then second half it worked perfectly for us. So for me, I think I'm excited. Uh, now Ghanaians have to have fun because. Uh, it was a very good win against a very good side. How do you approach the next game against Benin? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we, we, we came into this game, this tournament, uh, uh, to make sure that we win all our games. Now, Ivory Coast is out of the way. Uh, we are approaching. Um, the good thing is Ivory Coast will play against Benin. You know, so it will help us to see how the, Ivory, uh, the, the, the Benin, Benin team uh, 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 are playing. So it will help us that we have a game plan against them. But for us, we're taking it a game at a time. The Ivorians are out of the way now, it's Benin. Our focus is on Benin. We, we, we managed to watch their last one game, their last game before coming to this tournament. We have a little bit of idea, but we'll see what happens against Ivory Coast. Today, a lot of your former teammates, Steven Apia, Gordon Atram, Derek Boateng, amongst others, were here to watch you in your first international match. How, how does it feel to see that colleagues you played with out here in numbers to support you yes it's amazing it's amazing to see them before the game all of them give me a phone they called me uh, they wish me well you know the support is amazing you know most of the former players called me to wish me well i appreciate it you know this is what we, we're looking for we have to come together and make sure we push Ghanaian, uh, ghana football forward and uh, uh, the support today is amazing you know before the game i met some of them too and i appreciate it you know we they should continue to, to we, we should continue to support each other and make sure we put ghana to where it, belo it belongs the fans were also here out in numbers people yeah. from the schools and the rest uh, what message do you have for them yeah i would like to thank, thank all of them thank all of them for their time for the support that they, 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 they put behind this team the boys appreciate it you know after before the game they were so excited to see them coming some of them came to the to the to the hotel to 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 escort us to the stadium so for us it's it's amazing you know we thank all of them we thank all Ghanaians for rooting behind us finally is this a great career start for Lai Kingston yes yes for me uh, after my football career I sat back and I said yes whatever God gave me everything that football gave me I have to give back to football and then I don't want to rush I want to take it a day at a time I was lucky I got this this opportunity and through hard work and uh, the, with the support of my technical team I think we, the work that we put in is showing slowly so we're taking it a day at a time I'm, I'm so excited to get to grab this opportunity but like I said I'll take it a game at a time thanks to Ghanaians thanks to the FA for giving me this opportunity good luck for today tomorrow and every day good luck thank you I appreciate it why are they? Why are they?